Hello, my name is Josiah Clement, and today I'll be talking about the Grub 2 bootloader. And what we can do with it is we can actually um, get some editing happening on it. Now, with Grub 1, it was quite easy. We could actually go through to the configuration file and actually go and remove the lines. Now, the only thing with Grub 2 is that Grub 2 configuration file looks more like a bash script file. So, for most people, they can't really go inside there and, and change it, but the bash script file isn't supposed to be changed as well. So let's go through it. What we're going to do is we're going to delete the memory test and the recovery mode uh, from the bootloader and we're just going to have the Ubuntu at the top and the Windows 7 below. So let's just load up our Ubuntu. Okay now that we've got our operating system up, up and running, open your favorite terminal program. I prefer to go straight into sudo and leave it in there. You've got a choice of just running each command by running sudo in front of it, but I tend to use the whole thing. So let's go and firstly configure our grub file. Now in here what we're going to try and get done is, um, if you look at the top, we can change the uh, timeout values but what we really want is grub disable linux recovery equals to true now before i edited this it was like this so it really needs to be uncommented for these quotation marks to come out as well so go ahead save that um, you can use whatever you can use a GUI product program if you want to, like gedit or k or kate, as it's called. Um, and now we can go to cd cgrub.d. And now, if we look here, what we want to change is we want to change this. I'll just want to change the memory test. So the twenty underscore mem test eighty six plus. So how we do that was we ch mod it minus X, which makes it unexecutable. So if we look again, it's not green anymore. And so what we can do now is we simply go update grub. And this will actually update it for us. As you can see, just going through the whole system searching for it. So we reboot that again. So nice and simple, we've actually got that whole thing sorted out now. So we've got the Ubuntu at the top and Windows 7 load at the bottom. Now, Grub2, what it does is it goes through the whole hard drive and looks for all the operating systems there. And with the Linux operating systems, it actually goes through and looks for all the kernels that it actually has. So if you have more than one kernel installed, delete, remove, app get remove the one that you don't want to have anymore. Um, you can go view my app get tutorial um, if you want to have, realize how to do that. Otherwise, just send me a private message or go to my blog and um, comment on there and I'll get back to you. Um, so this is all for me today. Subscribe to my channel and um, I'll see you next time.